File 10, Listening 1. On the show today, we're talking to top gymnast Natalia before she competes in the Olympics. Good morning, Natalia. Shouldn't you be in the gym right now? Actually, I am in the gym. I'm here every morning, every day of the week. I usually get up at 7, and I'm here just before 9. What do you eat for breakfast? Fruit and yogurt, or toast. As I'm sure many athletes will tell you, there are three main things that help us perform at the highest level. Training, sleep, and food. Everything I eat is designed to help my body perform well. How many hours do you sleep at night? At least nine. And I also have a short sleep after lunch. I think many athletes at the highest level have a nap during the day. That's true for male athletes, too. Gymnastics is one of the few sports where the women's events are more popular than the men's. Many more people watch female gymnastics during the Olympics. Is that sometimes a problem? Um, no, not for me. I mean, the men's sport is very different from the women's. You can't really compare them. On the other hand, I'd like to see a gymnastics competition with men and women on the same team. You'd like to perform in the same events as the men? No, no, that's not what I mean. Look at the team medal in ice skating at the Winter Olympics. Men and women skaters are on the same team. They perform in their own events, but the scores are added together to give a team score. I think that could work in gymnastics, too. It sounds like you're interested in the way your sport is organized. Will we ever see you as a coach? You're 25 now, which is kind of old for a gymnast. You're one of the oldest members of the women's team. Will you retire after this Olympics? I don't feel old. I have no intention of quitting anytime soon.